everybody. Hey guys. I think you all have been waiting for this video for quite some time and we're ex excited to share it with you. We're, <laughs> we're so excited. <laughs> We've been wanting to share this news with you for a really long time. So first off, we got to talk to you about Adrenaline. So as you know, she's for sale and as of this recording right now she's still for sale so if you're interested just check out the link below and contact us tools on the summer at gmail.com yeah so why are we selling her if you guys have been watching from the beginning you know that we find old boats that need a lot of work and have like a nice pedigree about them and we do all the work ourselves we fix them up we bring them back to what the real potential is and we use them we live on them we travel on them along the way and we pretty much got adrenaline. Um, she's not 100%, but she's as good as she can be pretty much for a 30-year-old boat. And she's just sailing and performing fantastic. And it's just about time um, for us to let her go. Exactly. So we got her to the point where we did all the work we could possibly do to increase her value. And now it's time to have her be loved and traveled on by somebody else. So now what are we going to do? Well... How old are you? 23. <laughs> no. How old are you? 28. Billy. 31. <laughs> <laughs> and I am, what, 26? And no. Yes, huh? <laughs> and most of our friends our age are buying houses, getting married, having babies, and we are doing all three. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've questioned and explored buying a house, but the last three years on Adrenaline and the years before that on Neverland really helped us realize that we love to travel. We, I don't foresee us ever getting off the water really full time or stop traveling full time. We decided we definitely want to stay in the water. We definitely want to keep sailing and traveling and living this lifestyle that we just absolutely love. So instead of getting caught up in buying a house or even like an investment house or anything like that, we decided to get a new boat. <laughs> now, before we tell you which boat we're getting. <gasps> Hold on. Let's talk a little bit more about, okay, so you're thinking we were going to buy a house and then we bought a boat and you're like, well, a house is an asset and a boat's a liability. Yes, but no, because for us, the boat is our home. So it it is instead of a house, the boats are home. And it's also, it's also our business. Yeah, it's also our office. And um, obviously, you guys know we are making YouTube videos full time and writing blog articles full time. So now this is our full time job. So we need a boat as a platform to be able to do all this stuff. And it's also means of travel and means of having fun. So it's not a house is a house. It's stuck in a certain spot. You can't go anywhere. A boat is a home, mode of transportation, mode of travel, like a uh, mode of fun and video platforms and everything like that. So, we so got a boat. before we tell you which boat we got, let's go back a little bit. When I first started sailing, one of my friends up on Long Island, this guy Tom, he's been on a bunch of multi-holes, trimarans, catamarans, and he always mentioned this one brand and uh, it kind of just stuck out in my head. I wasn't really familiar with uh, brands and multi-hole boats. But, um, at that point. At that point. But when I did hear that brand, it kind of just perked up because I've heard it before right from the beginning. And then we were started traveling on adrenaline. And... When we took our first trip to the Keys, we met an amazing couple, AJ and Lisa. Hi, AJ and Lisa. They'd been following us for a little while, and they came over to say hi, and they took us out sailing on their boat. And they had actually owned 10 different catamarans. And they're pretty similar to us, where they value um, a little bit more simplicity and sailing performance over a bigger beefier, slower, less performing boat. But still comfortable, like still enough room to live and have fun. And out of these 10 boats that they had, I'm of course the person that asked, which is your favorite? And they told us that they had owned two of this very specific boat and it just outperformed all the rest and they loved it. So that boat had stuck out in our mind since that day and we went out of our way to find them from there we started going to boat shows and we hadn't really gone to a lot of boat shows before but we started stepping foot on these brand new boats and we made sure to get on this one particular brand's boats to see what they're all about from our friends recommendations and uh some of the other bigger what people might say condom brands 
uh, they were really nice, um, but we just didn't relate to them very much. And we know they have a reputation for not sailing super well. I mean, very, of, very, very comfortable, but not, uh, yeah, not super great sailors. Overall, uh, people love them, and a lot of our friends love them and, and have them, and they're great boats, but for us, for some reason, we just couldn't quite relate. But when we got on the boat that AJ and Lisa and Tom had been talking about, we fell in love. Yeah, we, from the moment we stepped on this boat, we knew, we just could relate to it. It felt like a boat, it was still super nice, um, everything was relatively simple. For us being on boats for years and years, it felt like we belonged there. Everything felt like it was in the right place, and it, it, it just felt... It just felt right. I don't know. So we, we made sure we got on that boat at a few different boat shows. Um, and then at one particular boat show last year, we actually got to go for a sail on it. We are officially sailing. This is awesome. Yeah, the wind just picked up like to five knots and we're already doing like two and a half knots, at least moving through the water. You can definitely feel it. We have some steer. It's like the same size as ours, but there's so much more room. Right. Yes, and a little bit more about that specific boat. Um, everything is led directly to the cockpit, so it makes it super safe, much more easier to sail. It's made to be sailed single-handedly, so it's easier for us and it's got great ventilation for us like we don't have an ac and we're in the caribbean in florida and hot hot climates but the way it's set up it's just it's wonderful and there's no wood no wood at all what are we going to do with a boat that doesn't have any wood no <laughs> and there's a self-tacking jib so literally you turn the steering wheel and choom! the boat just tacked <laughs> what are you doing tacking how'd you do it i just turned the wheel <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, so it was just like, when we were on this boat, it was just like, this, this is home. This is going to be our boat someday. So what happened? When I said we went for a sail on that boat, that was actually the time we put our deposit and we committed to getting this boat. I am wire transferring the first deposit for a brand new boat. Say what? This is like the first official step. This is the step where there's no going back. No going back. We're getting a new boat. Say hi, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> so the, this had been in the works since February 2019 is when we really started like making this happen and then the official 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 sign on the dotted line send over your down payment happened at the Annapolis we, Boat Show. We had to do a lot of planning just to make sure like because uh, we have very unique jobs and lifestyle and stuff like that so we had to do a lot of planning in the long run to make sure that we we're gonna be able to afford this boat comfortably and not be stuck. And even before that, we were saving for like two years. So, what boat is it? We bought a Sea Wind. <laughs> Woo! We are so, so, so excited. Like, you can't even believe. If you've been watching from the beginning, you know, you know what kind of boats we lived on. Tula didn't have a bed or a shower. Neverland didn't have a shower. We showered like on the outside, like <laughs> the spigot of the sink through the window. Like we were constantly doing work on them and we know new boats obviously require maintenance, but it's not going to be the projects we're used to. So we're excited. <laughs> it's going to have everything we need. It's going to be new. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be so much more comfortable and we like living simply, 
but years on the water like constantly traveling like we need a little bit more comfort than we have on adrenaline and the biggest thing that I'm most looking forward to is my family only has a certain amount of time they can take off during the year so they don't really want to come kind of camping style on adrenaline they want to be somewhere nice and relaxed and on this new boat I think they can totally do that so they will be able to come visit more your family's super excited to come visit as well and yeah and and one of the biggest things with this boat is it's just it's still gonna sail really really well it's got a, a really great hull width to waterline ratio they're just they just have a reputation for sailing really well Sea Wind has a huge pedigree. They're an Australian company and they've been around for a long time and they are they're actually super super popular in Australia. They're gaining a lot of popularity here in the US as well um, and in the Caribbean as well. But uh, they just have a strong strong background and they're designed by sailors so they're made to sail well unlike some of the other boats that we've looked at. One of the main things that these sea winds get the reputation for is their trifold doors that the door from between the cockpit and like the living space inside the boat, they fold together and then they fold up. So you have this huge like inside, six or outside. eight foot wide, yeah, just opening. So inside and outside turns into the same kind of space, which is pretty cool. And then the huge front opening hatches. So you get a huge, you know, just a bunch of airflow right through the boat. Yep. So. Oh, we're we're very excited. It's beautiful and we can't wait. Just to address one thing, we did like we said before, we wanted to tell you guys for a long time, but honestly, we didn't want to overshadow what we were doing already on adrenaline. Even for ourselves, we didn't like once we put the deposit on the sea wind. We just put it in the back of our minds. Yeah, we did kind of put it off in the back of our minds because we didn't want it to be to overshadow what we were doing for ourselves. We just wanted to our enjoy our time on adrenaline, enjoy all the hard work we put into her and all the hard work that we put in to get where we want where we got, you know, getting all the way to windward in the Caribbean. We wanted to just take our time and really see the sights and try to slow down a little bit. So I hope you guys understand why we're just announcing it now. We also wanted to keep our videos very chronological. I promise it's been hard. We've been wanting to scream it at the top of our lungs for all of you because we are just so excited, but you just had to wait a little bit and now you know and we're so happy. And if you heard we're getting a brand new boat and you're like rich kids, like you've never worked, buy on your daddy's credit card. If you think that, just go back to the beginning of this channel and watch some of the first videos, watch some of the first videos on Adrenaline, watch some of the first videos on Neverland, and you will see that we have worked our absolute butts off. Sanding and painting and grinding and <laughs> ripping out rotted wood and ripping out holding tanks and living without a bed or a shower. Like and all in the meantime, working part-time <laughs> seasonal jobs and then uh, making YouTube videos full time and filming all that work process which makes it take three times as long and then editing it at night like it was just it's we've been working a lot we've been working extremely hard doing what we do and 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 we're excited to share it with you guys and we wouldn't trade this for for the world and um, we're really proud of ourselves because this is awesome and if you still don't believe that we're we've done this on our own you can then call my father and double check that he doesn't even own a credit card <laughs> yeah <laughs> our parents don't give us money they're amazing they support everything we do but they also taught us to work hard and earn your money when i first set sail on tula coming down the coast i did run out of money in the carolinas but i really wanted to get down to florida or the bahamas so my mom did give me a loan she gave me like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollar loan and i paid her back within the first year as soon as i got a job back down to florida but she just wanted to help me get where I really want to get. And our parents would. They would help us in an absolute second, but... but if they... we just straight up asked them for money, like if I asked my dad for money, he would just be like, so... you should go get a job yeah. as an accountant like or in finance or something if you need money. So thank you, our parents, because you taught us how to make this work. Yeah. Without that work ethic that we've learned growing up, there's no way we could do what what we're doing. I mean, there is a way, it'd just be very, very different. It would not be the same way that we're doing it. And it's so funny, because we do meet a lot of you guys down in the Caribbean, and most of our friends down there are retired, so they're playing every day, and we have to be sitting on the computer at least 
five days a week literally and or filming or mostly or sitting on the computer or answering emails and uploading to patreon or repairing and maintaining the boat and so our friends were like okay you want to come dive today you want to do this you want to do this and we're like uh we gotta work and they're like you guys work like what <laughs> yes we work a lot more than most people think but it is totally worth it thank you to all of you who have been watching these videos because you make it possible we would not be where we are without you guys you are viewers especially you are patrons the brands that we work with and our affiliate partners and especially our friends and family we we wouldn't be here without all you guys so we thank you so so much boats take some time to be built so we have some time on our hands we are going to We're super excited to show you all of that. And we're excited to be traveling in a different way. And so thank you guys. And we can't wait to show you what's next. And make sure you stay tuned for the next video because there's a lot of cool stuff coming your way. Let us know what you think in the comments. And let us know what you think is up next or if you have any recommendations or things like that. We can't wait to, to share this with you. We're getting a sea win. Woohoo! <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>